Hey, and welcome to my channel. Welcome to our collab. This is something we do once a month. The four of us get together. Each one of us picks a different course each month to bring you a full progressive day of low point eating. Each one of us, what we do is low point. When you put it all together, it's low point day. That way, you'll have room for a treat later. You'll have rollovers possibly to carry you into um, the next day or to keep rolling and keep rolling until the weekend, however you like to do your points. But we like to show you that there are options for eating something good and staying low point and it's not boring or tasteless. It's good food for low points. And that's what we strive to do with this collab. Now this month, you're going to get breakfast from Christy over at Planning This Healthy. Then I'm going to give you lunch. Denise at Dish With D, she's going to give you the dinner and either a snack or dessert. It can be the one from Joan over at Joan's Point and Plate. So what I want you to do is visit everybody. That's the progressive part. You go one meal to the next, to the next, to the next. So visit everybody. See what they have to offer. Put all of it together and see how many points you get in a day. I don't know how much, um, how many of their points are as, you know, I'm doing this. So I don't know what the day will be like. But it's rarely ever, I don't think, gotten to 23. Honestly, I don't think it has since they started doing it. And um, if you're not subscribed to me or the other girls, then uh, we love to have you. Um, just hit the subscribe button. Then you know how to hit the notification bell. That way you'll um, be notified if we have new content. And then if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Even better, leave us a comment and tell us that you liked it. Or tell us if you maybe have a variation on something we make. Because what I'm making today can be made who knows how many ways. I'm going to make Asian lettuce cups. Now, the first time I ever heard tell of eating anything in lettuce was back when I worked for a mortgage broker. And the lenders, they would whine and dine us, you know, wanting our business because <laughs> that's how they make money. Well, we had one woman, we did business with her company, so she made sure to keep us happy. Well, she came and any time that she was coming to take us to eat, you can bet your bottom dollar it was going to be chilies. She just loved chilies. Well, she used to get their lettuce cups. And I don't remember what the feeling was at all. What I came up with today was just something I came up with. I just remember her eating it in a lettuce leaf. And I used to think that was the most bizarre <laughs> thing I had ever heard of. Because I grew up, we had bread and rolls, tortilla, you know, for a wrap. There was no eating anything on a, a piece of lettuce unless it was at the end of a fork in a salad. <laughs> so I used to not understand why, if she can have bread, is she eating lettuce? Why would she choose that? Okay, fast forward all these years to WW, and I know why. Because probably, even though she was a thin woman, she probably stayed thin by being mindful of what she ate. She saved, probably because she didn't do Weight Watchers. Let's say she was doing calories. She might not have been counting anything, but in her mind, she probably knew, okay, if I watch this, then that helps me out the rest of the day. So if it's something that's not a game changer, a piece of bread is not a game changer. If you put your filling on a lettuce leaf or you put it on a uh, sandwich bread, that's not a game changer. You might have something later on in the day you really want those points for. So you opt to go for that piece of lettuce and save the bread points or calories, whatever you're counting. And I'm figuring, you know what? That's probably what she was doing. She was just being mindful. If I watch my lunch, I can eat a little bit um, more at supper, you know? Maybe I can eat something a little bit higher point for supper. Maybe I can have that after supper treat. Maybe I can roll some points over for the weekend. That's what we're trying to help you do here. To finagle your way through the day, low point, and, and stay on plan, and still have good and tasty food. So this is my lunch today. It's kind of late. 
we're going to head over to the kitchen and start making our Asian lettuce cups. Okay, I've got everything together for our Asian lettuce cups. The first thing we need is the lettuce. This is Boston or bib lettuce. It'll probably without fail come in a little clam package like this. A lot of times it's hydroponic, meaning it was grown in water and you won't have a problem with dirt. This is not the case. You can see the root and dirt. Look at there. Now you see that? A little spider. This is why the next step is key. After you pull off how many ever um, lettuce leaves you want, just snap it right off there. I'll stick it aside. Let me get little Spider-Man. <laughs> Boy, if that ain't real life, I don't know what is. But this is what I'm telling you. This is why this next step is key. You hold on, I'm going to go wash this spider off my finger. I'm going to do four today. Just get you a wet paper towel. I've already cleaned these just to have them done. Just go along and wipe it. They're not filthy dirty. You can tell by the head of it. They're basically clean, but you got little specks that can get on them. There, I missed one. No, nope, I think that's part of the lettuce. So just take each one, go wipe it down with your paper towel. Then we're ready to start assembling. Let's lay out our leaves. Let's see if we can fit them in there a little bit better. So let's start. The main ingredient is going to be chicken. Now the way I did this, because you don't know what size your lettuce leaves are going to be, so it's hard to gauge how much chicken to put in each one individually so I decided for this meal I want four ounces of chicken now I'm on the blue plan and this is zero points the purple plan is zero points this is when it comes in handy for the green plan go ahead instead of seeing how much chicken will fit into the lettuce decide how much you chi much chicken you want point it out and make it fit into the lettuce so I'm going to take this four ounces and divide it in between the four leaves and it does not take much because we've still got to put more toppings on and we've got to be able to fold this thing up <laughs> this chicken is leftover rotisserie chicken breast I bought over the weekend and that is another cool thing about this meal if you have time in your home, you can um, saute some chicken that you have already. You can use any leftover chicken that you happen to have and turn it into a brand new meal. When you go to take your lunch to work, if you want to take this with you, you just package your little um, chicken, something that you could pop in the microwave, keep it separately, all the little cold components, put them in a little container and just assemble it when you get to work. So I think it will work great. The dressing we're going to use is Kraft Asian Toasted Sesame Light. Two teaspoons is only one point. So, so far we have purple and blue zero, green just the chicken. Now we're going to divide this because it tastes better if you put dressing on the chicken and then on the coleslaw mix. So just give each one. And you can make as many of these as you want. You can make a, a platter of them, I think, for like a little get-together or something. You could even make it like buffet style. Put the toppings out for everybody to make their own. And this is so versatile. You can do it with anything that you can think of that you want to put between a bun or in a sub roll. Put it on a smaller scale and pop it in a lettuce leaf. And there, <laughs> there you go. 
The next thing is any coleslaw mix that you like. This is what they happen to have at my store. They had this, or they had the angel hair, and it it just it seemed like it was too um, too fine. And I thought this this one will work the best. And you do not have to measure this because this is zero on all plans. So this is just for a good crunch. Just put a little bit on each one. Now remember, like I said, we got to fold this up. <laughs> so we got to be careful. It's like every time we make tacos at home, we say we're not going to put as much in it because we never can fold it up. And what do we do? We pile it full. Do y'all do that? It's crazy. Then we're going to do our other teaspoon of dressing. Now, if you think this is more dressing than you want, you can certainly scale it back. I can't right off the bat think if one teaspoon is still a point or if it's zero. If this is too much dressing, you'll run it through the recipe builder and it will tell you. Okay, so that the next thing is just regular old green onions. And I don't like the green green top, but you can chop up as much green, you know, as you like. This is just a preference for me. You can put a few of those on each one. To me, the onion is the important part. Then the final garnish a little bit of sesame seeds just a quarter of a teaspoon and again this is optional but you know what an eighth of a teaspoon a quarter of a teaspoon a little bit too much and there you have it super simple Super delicious, and I'm not going to eat this on camera because <laughs> when you fold this up, you're going to have to fold it and do it like a little pocketbook. You know what? Growing up, a half a sandwich, my papa called it a pocketbook sandwich because it's just a piece of bread and you fold it over like a pocketbook. So when I grew up, a half a sandwich was a pocketbook sandwich. <laughs> so fold this up like a pocketbook and enjoy your lunch. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having lunch with me. Subscribe if you like it. Thumbs up if you like it. Comment and let me know what you think. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the meal and get some great ideas. And I'll talk to you later.